Only you can do this. You are number one. Yeah! All right. Gohan and the others should be okay now. Boo still isn't budging. Guess we better keep a close eye on him then. Wait a sec, Vegeta. Is it just me, or is his energy increasing? <laughs> it's not possible. He's reverting back. Reverting back? What do you mean? The Majin Buu that Bibidi created was evil incarnate. Something even he himself couldn't control. It wasn't until the mild-mannered Grand Supreme Kai was absorbed that Bibidi could finally control him. So, what you're saying is, this little Buu now is even more of a handful than what we've been dealing with? Yes. Absorbing others had a dampening effect on him, but now, now his evil is unrestrained. He's lost all self-control and is again pure evil. Close. He tried to blow the whole planet to pieces. Dang that little bastard. Hey, Boo! Go ahead and destroy the planet if you want. But you'll have to go through us first. There's no way we can knock that thing back. The others! Petita, over here! I'm gonna get us all out of here! Yeah! Grab onto me! It's no use! We're not gonna make it! I can't use instant transmission fast enough! Hey! Well done! You made it! Yeah, we did. But Gohan and the others... and Earth... Kakarot! What the hell have you done? Why did you bring these fools instead? <laughs> uh, oh, well, what about Earth? It's gone, I'm afraid. Nothing but space debris now. Uh. <laughs> Uh, Earth g gone? <laughs> what are you talking about? We're standing on it. Wait. <laughs> yeah. I know what's going on. This is all a dream. <laughs> yeah, it's just a dream. Damn it, Kakarot. Gohan and the others are all dead because you decided to save this dumbass instead. And now Earth and everyone on it can't be brought back. The Dragon Balls, the only safety net we had, are gone. What? Dragon Balls? Why in the world were there Dragon Balls on Earth? Those are forbidden, powerful objects entrusted to only the Namekians. 
No one else should possess them. Th that's right. If we head to New Namek, the new Grand Elder should be able to give us access to the new Dragon Balls there. We can't do it. We can bring back Earth and all those killed by Boo. With Planet Namek back, I should be able to teleport between here and other planets with no problem. <laughs> all right. Now we're talking. <gasps> Take a look. Majin Buu's returning to his original shape. Ah! Here, give your Patara to Goku and Vegeta. They should be able to beat him if they fuse again. Uh, uh, right. Nah, we don't need those. Huh? huh? Yeah. That type of fusion technique really isn't for us. I want to fight him on my own anyway. Besides, he's not relying on anyone else's power anymore. That's what I like to hear, Kakarot. You're finally talking like a Saiyan. Uh? instant transmission before and copied it. Well, whatever. That saves us some trouble. We'll just end this here, then. Get out of here. Find some faraway planet and take everyone with you. Uh, okay. Oh, right, then. I guess we don't have much of a choice. Pay no mind to this world of ours. Go all out and show that monster what for. Good luck. Uh... Oh, no! I forgot to bring that Satan fellow with us. Forget about him for now. All right. Who's going first? Let's find out. Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors! scissors. Yes, I win! Woohoo! <laughs> At least I'll finally be able to see this Super Saiyan 3 of yours. Yeah! Let's do this, Boo! Hmm? Hey! He's sleeping. Are you little? Are you messing with me? Show it, you guys. The final battle. The one that will decide the fate of the universe. Here goes.
finally figured it out. I think I know why a genius like me can't keep up with you. I thought it was because you had people you wanted to protect. It was as if having a strong desire to save others gave you some mysterious power. And maybe it does in some way. I too have those I care about now. But you are always different. You don't fight to win. You fight to continue pushing yourself past your own limits. That's why you never took the lives of your opponents. You... You even had the opportunity to kill me. But you didn't. You didn't. Damn you, Kakarot. I can't believe a battle-loving, kind-hearted saint like you even exists. You're in trouble now, Boo. Here comes my full power, Kamehameha! <laughs> Only you can do this. You are number one. Give me a break already. This guy never gets tired, does he? Kakarot, forget about me and just finish him off! Yeah, I'm trying, but I can't. I'm gonna need another minute to charge up my energy if I'm gonna beat him. One minute, huh? I'll hold him off for one minute. You hurry up and charge your power! I'm gonna need that whole minute, you know. Just hurry up and do it! Yeah, I got it. Supersized Spirit Bomb. Are you sure, though? You're already dead. You do know what happens when a dead person dies again, don't you? They disappear from this world and other world. You cease to exist. Don't die on me, Vegeta. <laughs> Mind your own business. All right, let's go. Yeah. 
Need more to beat Boo! Boo! I can no longer stand idly by and let this continue. The great Mr. Satan, world's martial arts champion, will put you in your place. Yeah, that's the stuff. It's a shame this isn't real, but man, I nailed it. I know it's a dream, but it sure doesn't feel like one. and Boo developed a strong friendship with Mr. Satan. That Boo must have objected to harming Mr. Satan and prevented the attack. Well, that explains why he spit him out then. But to be honest, losing that Satan fellow in this fight wouldn't really change things. Indeed. Super Saiyan 3 really drains all your strength when you're alive. It looks like we're completely screwed. There's nothing else I can do here. <laughs> 